Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Ginger Broderick, and I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. Welcome to Ginger Fridays at MN TV Studios here on the Upper West Side in New York City. We are live. We have a great show today. Here on the set is Alex Alexander. He's a drummer, a percussionist. I know him from the music scene, and y'all know I love my drummers. So it was so fun for me to finally get Alex here on the set. I've been wanting him. He's been on my guest list Thank you, for Ginger. so many. I'm so happy to be here. Thank, Thank you so you much, Alex. Me. Wonderful. Well, you have a lot of things to talk about. So yeah. I'm really glad that I. You said yes. Oh, but, I'm, it was my pleasure. Yeah. I was really glad that you asked me. And I know you from the music scene, you know, because, you know, I follow my drummers and, you yep. know, Swiss Chris and that whole group, you know, and Dave Mullen and such. And I've yep. seen you out performing and we actually got to meet each other one time, yes. you know, and uh, but I see all your pictures. I know you've Thank performed you. with so many great people like David Bowie. I've been, I never performed with David, but I played on his Next to Last, Next Day record. You recorded which is with him? The second to the last record. Wow. I recorded with him down at the Magic Shop. Um, wow. And Tony Visconti, the producer, was the one who uh, thought of me and said, Alex, I'd like you to play on something, but I can't tell you who that is. Really? And that's how that started. And well, when did you find out? Uh, not until I got to the studio. Oh, my I had an, uh, I had a feeling. But not until I walked in and David was sitting at the couch and I said, oh, I see why you couldn't tell me. And Tony said, yeah, yeah, you know. Wow. And then David stood up and he said, I don't think he knows who I am. And I said, well, of course I know who you are. I'm a big fan. In fact, we met when I was 18. I oh. came to your rehearsal oh. and, I, and I knew your whole band. And then he said, oh, then we're old friends. And oh. that's how the day started. Well, how, and how do you prepare for a big day like that you, you, if you don't know the musician? I mean, um, well, they, I, I've been doing music for a long time. Yeah. I've been doing uh, session work for a long time, so mm -hmm. I'm always ready Got it. for whoever wants for me you. to play. Good for you. And, uh, and he was very accommodating. I always like to ask the artist, what's the music about? Like, mm -hmm. tell me about a little bit of the history of how you wrote the song. Mm -hmm. And I did, and he said, and he sat down with me and he explained each song to me wow. where its concept came from which I think was amazing, because a lot of artists don't always do that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we went in the room and figured out which sounds he wanted, and oh. we tried different things. He was very experimental, very open. That's wonderful. Congratulations mm. on working with it. It was Thank the world, you. world cried that day when yes. we found out he passed Absolutely. away. Absolutely, I, I had tears coming down my yeah, face. I couldn't believe yeah. it. The, uh, I actually went to his memorial uh, that was at his apartment in Soho. I worked nearby, and uh, I went over at midnight, and it, hundreds of people were outside yeah. on vigil. Yeah, it was really sad. But um, congratulations on and on working with, you know, one of the greatest artists oh, in the world. It was a, it was a dream. And you've also, I understand, uh, performed with, uh, recorded with Bruce Springsteen. No, I played with uh, Bruce Springsteen at Light of Day. Wow. Every oh, year. okay. Yeah. You were at that uh, event. Yeah, they have the mm -hmm. Parkinson's benefit, and Springsteen shows up more years than not. Sometimes he misses it, but uh -huh. uh, I, I think I played with him three or four times in you. successive years. Well, I'm friends with a lot of um, New Jersey folks, and uh, they all really enjoy you know being around. So you're in that circle too. Yeah. And Springsteen was fabulous. He was, he knew exactly what he needed to do mm -hmm. to be the best part of everything. Mm -hmm. Like he came and he worked out the song with us backstage and then when he came on stage he just knew exactly how to fit in and yet be the best part of every song. Wow. I guess that's why they call him the boss. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you. Do you know I'm learning the bass. I know. And uh, when are we going to play? Hey, I'll be ready <laughs> by the summer. You know, Excellent. I'm finishing, I'm finishing I'm up. I'm looking forward to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm going to be joining a rock band, and uh, I thought it would be a great way to be around the drummers that I love. So Absolutely. That's, that's We've got to play some Zeppelin. There you go. Yeah. I, I'm just learning uh, Rick James, you know. That's even better. <laughs> we got to get a singer, and then there we could be a trio. <laughs> That's great. You know, um, I have a surprise for you mm. today. We have Billy Amendola on the line. No. Billy is the editor at large in Modern Drummer Magazine. Yes. And um, he's Billy, a great friend. Him to to call in. Billy, are you there on the lines for us? I am. How are you? Hey. Hey, Billy. How are Alex, you? Alex. How are you, Alex? Long time no see, buddy. I know, I know. You know, we, we spoke about, Ginger had told me about this um, 
and I was going to try to get to the studio, but I have to be somewhere here back in Brooklyn, so I couldn't get out there. So uh, I wanted to call in just to say hi to you. And uh, Good to hear your voice, man. Good to hear you, and I'm happy that you're on the show because um, if I could say, Ginger, can I say a little something about Alex? Sure. Uh-oh. Well, Alex is, you know, we're, we're friends. We've been friends a, long, a good number of years, but yeah. he, is, he is one of my favorite drummers because he's, number one, he's so humble, mm. and he's one of those guys that knows how to groove and play for the song, but then if he had to turn on the chops, he can easily turn on all those chops. Thank so you, Billy. That's what I love about Alex. Thank you, Billy. That's Thank you. You know, Billy's a great drummer, too. I know. You know, I've been trying to get Billy on my show. Maybe this is a great time to remind him. Yeah. Hey, Billy. <laughs> right? One day, well, right? One day. We're working on a new album. It's almost finished. When the album's finished, I will definitely be on. Okay. Well, uh, I'll check back with you in a few weeks, and uh, we'll see how you're going. Billy, we have to hang out. Yes, definitely. When you're in town, let me know. Okay. And uh, good luck with Rocktopia. That's going to be great. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. You gotta Broadway. come see the show. I will definitely. I will definitely. When you hook up, can I can I come along too? Yes, you absolutely. You know I love my drummers. Maybe you know? we'll try to make it the same day so we can all hang oh, out. Oh, great, great. That'll yeah. be fun. Thank you, Billy. Thank you. All right, have a great show. Thank you, guys. Thanks a lot for tuning in. Bye, bye. Billy, right, I'm man. Adola. I'll see you soon. Wow. Well, bye, bye. Bye, bye, Billy. Thank you. How oh, cool that's is that? Great. That's very cool. I love Billy. He's a Isn't awesome that wonderful? Person. And he's very, you know, our nickname for him is Mr. Switzerland because he's just so wonderful and nice to everybody. <laughs> Even me. That's him. You know? His son is a great drummer, too. Yeah, and a yeah. producer. Yeah. Mm, Maddie. Mm, yeah. Maddie Amatella. Mm, yeah. That's really cool. Which reminds me, mm -hmm. uh, I brought you a Rocktopia oh, DVD. Are you serious? Because I know that wow. uh, I wanted you to have a copy of it. I don't know if we talked yet much, but you're upcoming on Broadway. That's right. Right? Beginning March 20th. March 20th. At and the Broadway Theater. Broadway Theater, New York City. It's a special engagement. Yeah. Rocktopia. Now, this, are you, are you on this recording? Yes. In, in Budapest? This is it? live in Budapest. Wow. Congratulations. I'm so excited. I already, I already have a ticket. I didn't want to miss that show. <laughs> wow, I watch all the you know promo clips and whatever, and you yeah. and I saw you in it. I was like, oh my god! Oh yeah. You know, Alex is in the show, so that's when I. Some people don't know what it is, and basically, it's a 65-piece orchestra Gee. with a four-piece rock band and six singers, and we do covers of um, Led Zeppelin, the uh, Pink Floyd, the Who, um, Jimi Hendrix mashed up with classical composers wow. like Copland and Ravel and Ch Tchaikovsky. And Gee, the wow. music is absolutely beautiful. And the, the orchestra is behind us supporting. And mm -hmm. there's also a media show um, which brings up the, uh, the subject of the heroes in our lives, uh, oh. musical and non-musical, wow. that have inspired us all. It's a fantastic show and the singers are awesome. Uh, I can't wait. I'm sure I'm going to go more than once. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And um, and uh, how, can you explain how you got selected for this? Because I would say it's it was uh, pretty amazing. It was my friend Dina Finney. Um Their drummer couldn't make it for some reason, and they needed a drummer at last minute. Wow. And Dina recommended me, and I got in touch with Rob Evan, who was the creator, and him and Randy is the co-creator. Randy's the compo the uh, conductor. And so they were looking for someone, and I met them. And they, they looked at me, and they were like, you sure you can do this? And I was like, yes, of course. I listen to the music. It sounds fantastic. And then they sent me the charts, and it was really involved and wow. really intricate. And uh, obviously, I fell in love with it right away. Wow. And then we went all the way to Budapest. It turned out to be a bigger show than anybody imagined. Wow. It was sold out, and, uh, and PBS came mm -hmm. on board mm -hmm. and signed them wow. to their label. Wow. And uh, you can see the show as it turned out. Uh, it's excellent, and it's been on PBS several times. A lot of people have seen it. Yeah. And we also tour every year. Wow, great. Yeah. I can't wait to see it. Rock so it's going to be at the Broadway Theater from mm -hmm. March 20th mm -hmm. to beginning of May. May? Oh, yes. I thought it was ending in April. I no, think it's, it's beginning eight of May. Six or eight Six weeks. weeks, yeah. Okay, fine. May. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. That is so exciting. And uh, now, in addition to all this 
work that you've been doing, mm. you're also the inventor of the electric jemba, jembe. Yes, the electric jembe. It's I took an African drum. Mm -hmm. I was in Japan at the time, and I went. I took it to the beach, and I started listening to the ocean, and I wanted to get a vibe between the ocean and the drum, mm. kind of bringing Africa to Japan in a way. And then um, I started imagining sounds coming out of it. How could I get the uh, sound of the ocean and the sound of nature coming out of a drum? And when I got off tour, I went back home and I sat down and I figured out different things. And I had a friend who helped me, who modified my pedals. And it's been 20 years They're that guitar I've been working pedals. on it. They're guitar effects pedals that have been modified to fit the drum oh, and make the drum make sounds that it's n they're not normal. To well, the pedals. I saw a YouTube video of the work that you did, and it was amazing Thank that you. you just can't imagine that a drum can make sounds like that. And you said there's hundreds of sounds that you can make. Yeah, um, actually, 526 wow. sounds that come out of it. Wow! It's kind of to me, it's kind of like where the acoustic guitar was at when somebody brought out the first delay or reverb mm -hmm. and started. Um, putting it through sounds, which I believe was Les Paul. Uh -huh. And uh, so I'm helping push the, uh, the evolution of African drumming to more modern times Good by putting you. it through effects pedals that I can Wonderful. alter and, ma and manipulate. And you've brought this instrument in on, on film scores, and I understand, Yes, I've, I've done movie scores with it. I've done, played in stadiums with it. I've been on the, on the road with Dido with oh. it. Um, and I play with singer-songwriters. Uh, we do. We can do intricate shows together, quiet oh, shows. Good for you. Yeah, and there's sounds that you can't get anywhere else because I made them up. Wow. Is it pre-recorded in there? The, for the most part, no. Okay. What I'm about to do is a performance with a, a part of a pre-recording. Mm -hmm. It's a remix of an '80s rap song. Oh wow. Uh, so the the rapping is pre-recorded, but the rest of it is all me. Wow, that's so cool. That's great. And you performed with Eminem, too? Was yes, that? I did on wow. Saturday Night Live. Oh, come on. Yeah. Wow, how cool is that? We, we got a call uh, on a Thursday that he wanted us to play. And we flew out to LA, met him. He was in the middle of working on his next record. And he was very straight, very serious guy, mm -hmm. totally on the ball. No. Uh, no bad vibes, no street vibe to mm -hmm. him. And uh, we worked, we played a little bit. I have that recording of the rehearsal. Aww. And um, and then he said, great, the band sounds great, let's do it. And then on Saturday, we all uh, met at Saturday Night Live and did it, and did uh, two songs. So you went out to LA to rehearse and then you came back to New York to do the show? He flew us all out to LA wow. to rehearse. Wow. Which was like rehearsal at 1 a.m. for like an hour and a half. Are you serious? That wow. was it. Wow. And the time changes. And I all know. That? Yeah. God bless you. <laughs> you know, it, being a rock star is, it looks so glamorous, but boy, the behind the scenes and the traveling and, you know, it's a lot. Yeah, it, it's hard work. But, you know, like with anything, if you have passion for it, yeah. you, you want to get into it mm -hmm. and you don't mind the hard work. Mm -hmm. I don't mind working with uh, creative people. And, and people at the top, too. I mean, it isn't, you of know. Of course. Yeah. That's it helps a real to special. have a great hotel and a great tour bus <laughs> and great food. Yeah. And, and meet really creative people who are at the top of their game. Congratulations. Well, having so many people come through on the show has influenced me to, you know, pick up a guitar and I want to, there's some, I want to learn how to play the drums, too. That's kind of on my. We got to do a lesson. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Maybe come back and we can do a show on, on a lesson we or something. We could do that. Hmm, how's cool. That would be awesome. That's so cool. So uh, I really, uh, really appreciate you coming in today. And I would love for the audience to hear what you have for us. Okay. Uh, so if you want to step over to the stage. Yep. We have Alex Alexander. He is a drummer and percussionist. He's played with David Bowie, recorded with David Bowie and Bruce Springsteen. Eminem, did you hear those stories? And he's also upcoming with the Broadway show Rocktopia that's opening up at the Broadway Theater here in New York City on March 20th. So you want to make sure he's the only drummer percussionist that is performing in that Broadway show. So we're really, really excited and happy to have Alex here today. 
You're all ready? I'm all ready. All right. Take it away. What's this phony ceremony hanging around? We got to get down, rock it out from this shaky ground. Come on and spread out your heart and body, mood everywhere. Let's see you people laughing, people punching out in the air. Get down to the hip hop and beat pop and do it. You hear the sound, it's all coming to you. I want to get you, I want to teach you. I want to get this beat to hit you. Get down to big time illusion like all the rest. Come on and dump it, jump it. live in front of a studio audience. Come on over, come back, Alex. Alex, Alexander, what did you think of that? I mean, I could hear that, I could listen to that for hours. Oh my goodness, congratulations. Thank you, Jenny. That's wonderful. I'm such a lover of drums and percussion, and uh, it's just so wonderful to hear that and watch what you're doing. Thank you, thank you. And to think, you know, that you had you spend a lot of time experimenting around to make those sounds. Yeah. Wow, that's the coolest thing. Yeah. Coolest thing. Congratulations. It's, a, it's one of my passions. I, I mm. love it. It's, it's like a child to me. You know, it, mm. it has a life of its own. It grows and uh, it finds its own way in the world. Wonderful. I really enjoy it. I really hear percussion and it was exciting to see the sound. You're blowing into it and it sounds like the ocean like you were talking about. Yeah. 
That's yeah. Right. And you've actually traveled quite a bit to Africa, I understand. I have. I and went to Ghana last year for mm. for uh, four weeks. Yeah, I knew it was a month because I follow you on Facebook. Yeah. And it was mind-blowing. It was incredible. I never experienced anything like that. Uh -huh. We started out in the city in Accra, and then uh, my friend Rob Levin was the one who brought me over, and he took us to a small village, and we experienced small village life. Mm -hmm. The food was different. Everything was different. Um, you went it, to the slave caves, too, didn't you? I went to the wow. slave caves, yeah. It was very heartbreaking. Mm. And it was heartbreaking to see the influence that that history has had on that city. Mm -hmm. um, the the city itself just it just felt like uh, like Mad Max movie. It was exactly like that. Mm. It's just all these crazy uh, people living in a chaotic environment that had been crippled by the history of what had happened in the world. Incredible. And and I learned a lot about slavery that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that it had lasted almost 500 years. It's incredible. Yeah. I remember growing up in the Midwest, and I remember seeing the civil rights movement <clears throat> on television. I said, Dad, what's going on? You know, because I just didn't understand. I, I didn't have the, I, I just couldn't imagine it. And yeah. then and then when I moved to New York, you know, 30 years later, uh, Black History Month, what's that? Yeah. You know? Boy. It's a, it, you know, the, the history of mankind is mind-blowing, and that's why I love to travel. Yes. Because I want to learn about man. I want to learn about this earth that we're living on. And unfortunately, that includes the good and the bad. Yeah. Um, but here we are, and we're moving forward at, a, mm -hmm. at an incredible rate. And I'm hoping that uh, the future will be a lot better for everyone together mm -hmm. involved, and we'll finally figure out that we're all really equal. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And, uh, and it's great. That, and music brings us all together. That's and that's, right. you know, working together and such. And it, it's wonderful. And uh, I'm really glad that you uh, can bring music to us and educate us, you know, and thank you, and have us learn about history and world travel. I live vicariously through people's <laughs> lives, and then you went to Egypt. Yes, that was just a recent trip. Egypt was fantastic. I was like, wait a minute, wasn't he just here? No, that was Africa. Where is he now? He's in he's inside pyramids. <laughs> yeah, that was incredible. Cause wow. I, I, you know, I got a, when I came back from Ghana, Africa. I was like. Where else can I go? Wow. What, what else do I want to do? And I was like, I, well, I want to see the pyramids wow. before something happens and they're, no, they're no longer there. Mm -hmm. And it was more than I ever anticipated. The first day that I arrived, we were on, uh, on camels going Damn. through the desert with the pyramids in the background yeah. and hanging out in a Bedouin house in the, in the middle of, this, of the desert. Beautiful. And then we went all the way to uh, the Red Sea and that was fantastic. This, mm -hmm. I'm an avid snorkeler and scuba oh, wow. diver. Oh, wow. God and, bless you. And that was one of the best places in the world. Really? Yeah. I've been to, I've been to uh, Australia. I've been to Costa Rica, Colombia. Wow. All the best scuba diving. And this was by far really? the best. Wow. Yeah. I'm a, I was a competitive swimmer for many years, and people always encouraged me to learn scuba diving, but I'm afraid to. You know, I'm, I, I'm, you know the controls and the... Uh, no, there's nothing to it. You just got to remember to breathe out of and, your mouth. And relax. And I would, relax. Yeah. I remember I was in the Caribbean, and, and somebody panicked when he was down below, and he came up, and they pushed him down in the water, you know, because he came up to... Too right. fast. Right. Yeah, you had to push them down. But again. that's when you start to get deeper. At the beginning, wow. you can just flow right, right below the surface okay. and get used to the breathing. Okay. And then, as you're more comfortable, you go deeper. And then, okay. yes, you have to come up slowly. Otherwise, you get the bends. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I was. Uh, but well, that's great. Uh, that that's really wonderful. That's you're doing all these great things that I'm. I want to do. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's do some together. Yeah, yeah. Let's go somewhere together. There you go. Yeah. Have you ever done hot air balloon riding? Have I have. You, have you really? Wow. Yeah. We're you're doing... in Australia. That was really? great. Really? Wow. I loved it. Wow. We were we were um, flying over the the uh, a herd of kangaroo in Australia. Oh, gee. And then somebody said, look, and then one of the kangaroos pointed up at the balloon, oh. and as the other one looked up, the first one punched the other one in the face and ran off. And we were, couldn't believe that that wow. had just happened. Wow. And we're all in, up in the balloons, so it's just amazing. Isn't that something? It was very funny. That's amazing. Wow, that's cool. Well, is there anything else, anywhere else you're going to be traveling? Do you have anything I'm else? I'm going to Kansas next week. You do? Kansas, Dorothy. <laughs> I, you I going to see Dorothy? 
I play with a band called El Jury. Okay. Um, right. Cecilia Villar El Jury. Mm -hmm. She's a woman activist and a great singer, songwriter. Mm -hmm. She's got a terrific album called La Lucha, mm -hmm. and I played on it. And we're going next week to do APAP. Oh, really? Yeah. Out in Kansas. At the Folk Alliance. It's a Folk Alliance, actually. Oh, isn't that yeah. interesting? Yeah. I'm not familiar with it. I know APAC here in the city, but I didn't know uh, about other. Yeah, there's a big one they hold every year in oh, Kansas, and, and we're going to go. And it's like, you know, all the artists come, and then the bookers come in, and they uh -huh. book them worldwide. Wow, that's so exciting. Good for you. Yeah. Good for you. And uh, Rocktopia is coming up soon. Yes. Uh, we're down to our last couple of minutes of the show. Isn't that amazing? Uh, we just want to make sure I had that. such a great time. Good. I'm, well, come back. Thank Come you. Come back. Yes, I will. Bring your friends. <laughs> bring in Billy. <laughs> yes, I'll bring in Billy. Billy, you got to come with me. <laughs> That's great. And uh, where do people fi find you? How do we find uh, what you're doing, what's coming up? You could go to alex-alexander.com. Mm -hmm. That's my website. Mm -hmm. I'm also on Facebook okay. at uh, Alex Alexander Music Okay. on mm -hmm. Facebook, Very good. Instagram. You can find me all over the place. Wonderful. Good for you. And... Um, and you're going to be uh, be back. Are, are you in rehearsals right now for Rectopia? Not yet. Not yet. No. Okay. Beginning okay. of March. Beginning of March. Okay, that's great. So you're going to be on Broadway. Is this your first time on Broadway? I used to do Tony and Tina's wedding. Did you really? Many years ago. Oh wow. I was a sub on that, and oh. I loved it. Uh -huh. I. That's one show that I was playing, and I just dying laughing as I'm playing. Good for you. It's such a funny show. That's good. So that was my first time. Wow. This will be my second time. Good for you. Well, I, I can't wait to go. Rocktopia, opening up at the Broadway Theater, March we got, 20th. we got to get together and have a drink afterward. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I think I'm going that, that, that Saturday. Yeah, I think you open up on a Thursday. and I, I think, Is that? I think something okay. like, yeah. And uh, my birthday's on the 18th, and so it's my birthday present. Yeah, awesome. and so it's really a special treat for me to have you here because you really, I've, you, I've, I've watched, you know, I love drummers, and I was like, <laughs> that Alex, that Alex is doing everything. I want him on the show, but when I, when I saw the clip on Rocktopia, I was like, Alex is in that video. I got to call him. So I was so happy when I got your, yeah, your email. Yeah. Thank you so much for asking me. It's an yeah. honor, and it's oh. been great to see you. It's like, you know, you know, there's a circle of people that I follow, and you're in that circle, so it's just a real pleasure to have you here. And I just want to thank everyone else um, that is watching. Alex Alexander, he's going to be heading up. He's going to be performing uh, at Rectopia on Broadway starting March 20th. We are so lucky to have him here. And be sure to check it out. We're here every Friday afternoon. My name is Ginger Broderick. I'm the host of the Ginger New York TV show. We do arts and entertainment. And we had wonderful guests. Great opportunity to have thank you come you, in and talk with you. My pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Wonderful. Anytime. Thank you. Bye, everybody. We'll see you soon.